Hey everyone, so I've been working on a near blockchain Unity API. It's kind of a, a wrapper really around the near API JS at the moment. So it works on WebGL only, uh, but hopefully in the future it will be um, an API that works on both uh, Android and iOS as well. Uh, so let me just demo its capabilities. So what we can do here is you can either download uh, the zip and unzip this and then uh, open it in Unity or I am going to do that and then come in here. I've got a folder open in Visual Studio Code and I'm just going to do a git clone and paste in that link I just copied, hit return. And that should come down in a second, it's not that big. And then what we can do is open up uh, Unity Hub. And then if we just click open, let's browse to that uh, folder I just cloned and then if I just open that and that will open in Unity. Okay so I now have the project open in Unity. Uh, if you want this same layout as I've got this is this 2x3 layout that I kind of prefer and then I just slid this over here so that I get a more compact list view here and I've just put the console here so I just did web general uh, console and just put the console down here and the first thing that's always good to check is the readme so in the near folder there is a readme but the thing we're most interested in is installation and building the example right so uh, the first thing we should do is change our platform to webgl so file build settings, select WebGL and switch platform. And then it says that we need to go to player settings, player resolution and presentation and switch out the WebGM, no, WebGL template to near WS. So let's do that. So if we click on player settings and we go to resolution and presentation this one here and we've got default and minimal but these won't work we need to choose one of these and near WS is the sort of larger more complete one it supports the whole API so that is a good one to start with so so we've done that so now we can uh, close that and then if we just want to see uh, the example in the editor, let's just open our menu scene. And if we hit play, we can see um, it kind of pretending to work in the editor, but it doesn't really work. Uh, it needs to actually be deployed to work, but at least you get some semblance of what it would look like uh, once deployed so if that's all working then we're pretty good to go so if we go build and run and let's create ourselves a build folder like so and select that and that will go away and build the project Cool, so that eventually got built and we've got this web page open now. And if I hit on the NFT example, uh, we'll see that we need to sign in. So if we click on sign in, we will go to the uh, wallet testnet because we're on testnet at the moment. So the near wallet testnet site, uh, let's log in with an account that'll 
refresh and bring us back to our first page. But now if we go into NFT example, we are nice. We are now nicely signed in. And uh, it says welcome to the account that we just uh, logged into. And now we can go away and get some NFTs. And this displays the NFTs in this little um, panel here. And there you go. That's your the very basics of integrating some NFTs into uh, a Unity game. So you have a, a good example there of just how to do that. If we come back here and we have a look at the contract example, this is essentially what that uh, other page is doing, but a little bit more visibility. You can see that we're on testnet. We're calling this particular contract. We're calling this particular method on that contract and we're sending through these arguments. So if I hit call contract method here, this is the JSON that we're getting out. And that first example shows how we use that JSON to display um, these characters uh, in a panel. So we can also um, try out calling different contracts on this page. So this is an example of interacting with the guest book uh, contract. So we can call the add message method on that. Uh, make sure you tick uh, is change method because this will make a change. So let's just put one, two, three, four, five, six in here, say, and call the contract method. And probably called it before so uh, it's not really updating this but if we bring it up the inspector and go into the console we can see that um, other than these weird <laughs> um, warnings we haven't got any errors there so that probably was happy so let's have a look and see if we can call get message oh, let's actually add one more message just for the heck of it so if I call this um, near Unity API test and click there and then let's call get messages untick that don't care about these args so if I click that then you can see that actually these changes happened here. We did this one, two, three, four, five, six, and this near Unity API test. And so um, that updated the contract like so. That's a sort of very quick overview of the near Unity API. Thanks for checking it out.